the second mimer on Daf Mem Dalad of Terer. So the Pasuk says, Vayelak at Yosef is called Kesef, that Yosef gathered all the money, Hanim Tzabaris Mitzrayim, which uh, was found in Egypt, and he brought it, Vayavi Yosef is a Kesef, Vayzeh Pari, Yosef brought it to the house of Pari. Now, the Gemara and Medrash discuss how there were, there were three major treasures that Yosef uh, had from all the money, from the, the wealth of people who all had to come from all over to buy food in Mitzrayim and include the whole Mitzrayim and surrounding countries. And uh, he hid them. And now they were found at different times. So one was found by Kairach, and that's why Kairach was so rich, like the Yiddish expression, Reich li Kairach. Then a second one was found by the Roman emperor, Antoninus. A third one has not yet been found. It will be found and given to the tzaddikim after Mashiach comes. So now we need to understand this and also to understand the pasuk, which says, Erzurul a tzaddik, a light is planted <coughs> for the tzaddik. Now this light is the light, which the original light, which uh, it says that the original light uh, would shine from one end of the world to the other end of the world. And uh, it was too powerful for the world. And therefore Hashem hid it for tzaddikim and, uh, and tzaddikim will be able to use it. What treasures represent in Avedis Hashem, in the way we serve Hashem? So we'll understand this <clears throat> through uh, discussing two uh, levels of love that a person can, uh, can uh, develop to walk towards Hashem. One is one uh, love which he develops himself that is a totally new love. And through thinking about things that uh, will uh, bring a person to love, and he'll, he'll eventually come to a love. So this is a new love which he created. And the second type of love is that he realizes that deep inside, he already loves Hashem. His neshama is one with Hashem. So we, he doesn't have to create a new love. All he has to do is reveal the love that the neshama already has, to reveal the Avim Mosateras and nurture it. <clears throat> so this is, <clears throat> on one hand, this uh, love which is weaker because it, it already existed. You, all you did was reveal something that already existed. On the other hand, this love that comes from the Avim Mosateras, the hidden love that every Yid has to Hashem, is a more powerful love. Uh, that uh, because it's it's not just what you can achieve through through your own uh, efforts, but it's something that Hashem is uh, given, and therefore it's more powerful in a way. And now there's a famous there's a famous uh, statement. It's in Gemara and elsewhere. said that when wine comes in, the secrets come out. What is this secret? This secret is the Av Musateras, the hidden love that everyone has secretly inside them and uh so they have this uh, hidden love to hashem when the wine comes in then the secret then the love comes out what is wine wine is yena shall tell the wine of turn and in particular it is his bonus it's reflection and meditation about hashem on ideas that will bring to love And uh, the, the, ultimately, the Ava Musateras, the love of Hashem, uh, which is uh, based on the hidden love that it, it naturally has to Hashem, is the greater of the two. Because it has a higher source, whereas the love that a person creates himself, it comes from a lower spiritual source. And that's why the Ava Musateras, the hidden love, once it comes out, it's called Ava Rabba, the great love, because it's, it's a more powerful love. Whereas the Ava, the love that comes totally through a person's own meditation, that is called uh, the Avas Olam, love of uh, love uh, at the level within worlds. So it's a more limited love, and uh, this is uh, <coughs> the uh, the gift of Yosef Tzadik. The level of Yosef Tzadik is at the level of Ava Musateras, the hidden love that every year has to Hashem. And uh, Yosef is Yisoid, which Yisoid is Yud, and then the word Soid. We said that Nichnas Yainyot is Soid, that the Soid is the Avamus, the hidden love that we all have to Hashem. 
Uh, and therefore, yes, Yosef, who's from the sphere of Yisod, certainly is this idea of the Sod, the hidden love. Now, the, the Pasuk, Erzurul Tzadik, that light was planted for the Tzadik, what does this mean? That there's this light which is uh, too powerful for the world. And therefore was hidden for tzaddikim, and the tzaddikim are able to access this treasure. And uh, this ava, this love is beyond ava soelam, beyond what can be achieved um, from, from by a person, a person creating his own love through through uh, reflecting on ideas that will bring to love. Uh, because uh, so, so the uh, Ava Salem is only according to what we can achieve. It's chesed within his shalshlos, within the chain of worlds, whereas the Ava Musateras is chesed from beyond the chain of worlds, beyond intellect. And uh, this is uh, the level of Yosef, and Yosef plants this inside every Jew, that every Jew can reveal their Ava Musateras, the hidden love that they already have to Hashem. And this is the side which comes out through yain, which yain wine refers to this uh, meditation and reflection about Hashem. Next paragraph, I'll be there. So now we can understand the statement of the Zayar that says that this light Hashem planted in his garden, which is uh, looked after by uh, that Sadiq, who was the uh, gardener of the garden. And he takes the light and uh, he plants it in this uh, as a uh, genuine uh, planting in this garden. Now, during the time of exile, the Zaya continues, the, um, the uh, gardener doesn't come into the garden. And uh, therefore, the light that's normally in, in the garden. So now... Uh, the gar the, the uh, gardener doesn't come in. Um, so uh, the but the light still is uh, creating blossoms all by itself, like how it did originally. <clears throat> now the idea of the uh, gar the garden is bringing down Hashem's light, which uh, uh, goes which Hashem's light, which starting in a limited way. Uh, starts uh, with the kav, which limits the light coming coming down level to level according to what it can take, and it ends with malchus, and malchus is called this garden. Uh, then we have uh, the two ways that the uh, garden can uh, can grow. So uh, we can either have uh, through avodas uh, through uh, avodas abirurim that the person, the gardener, works hard in order to make the garden grow and he does all his hard effort and hopefully it will grow. And the second way is what grows without such an organized plan, without such an organized system. And that's called Svichim. Svichim are uh, plants that just grow by themselves. And uh, on the other hand, you also have the actual growth and the same thing with the spiritual garden that uh, you have these two levels. You have the uh, planting that you work hard to plant and then it grows. Then you have things that just grow by themselves. And uh, therefore, uh, with the the uh, Ava Musateres, this hidden love, which is uh, which you also plant in every year, when it comes out, even though it's not something new because it's a hidden love that we already have, uh, but still uh, it, it, it has a highest source, like we said. And uh, therefore, uh, when the Pasuk says, uh, that a light was planted for the righteous, uh, we mean that it already exists. It's already been planted. Uh, uh, for tzaddikim, that Yosef encourages all Yidin to have this uh, uh, Ava this great love to Hashem. But what the Ava, which is created completely from one's own meditation and reflection, that's Ava Solom. And, uh, and uh, this, we have to thank Yosef, the gardener who brings us all, tries to bring us all to this level 
of uh, Ava within the garden, within Malchus. Next paragraph, Vizelinian by Yalaki Yosef. This is the idea that Yosef was collecting all the money of Egypt, that all of them brought their money to Yosef. Uh, so uh, uh, Yosef is the, uh, the Tzadik, uh, Elian is the uh, complete Tzadik and is the gardener who fosters this love and then brings it to the house of Pare. What does this represent? The house of Pari is called a garden, and uh, therefore, and therefore, it's uh, it's the uh, the Almadis Gali, the revealed world, uh, where Hashem's presence is manifest. And now we know, now going back to the uh, treasures of Yosef that he hid these three treasures, and then two of them were found already. The third one will be found. So we know that, that, that chesed can be divided into three parts. And uh, so it says that, uh, that two parts of the chesed uh, were, uh, were revealed. Uh, and then the top part of chesed, the top third is concealed. And uh, this is the uh, light, which is from beyond the world from the beginning of creation and then Yosef hid it all and this is the idea that Yosef is collecting all the money and bringing it to Paro that uh, that his, that his uh, bring that his bring these uh, uh, this uh, uh, light for, uh, to Paro and then uh, revealing it as uh, Zun of the, the unification of Za and Malchus and uh, so, uh, so he's revealing this avarabba, this uh, powerful love that we have naturally already within us, Hashem. In the last few lines, he adds uh, some other um, interpretations to what spheres are involved here, uh, that, uh, that uh, we could also say that, uh, Yos that Yosef, who's Yosoid, uh, reveals Chesed from the covering is in Yesod de Ema, in the, um, in the Yesod of Bina, and uh, uh, and uh, this we could also say that these two levels of uh, hidden love and revealed love, or uh, hidden kindness and revealed kindness. So hidden kindness is uh, hinted in uh, Eretz Mitzrayim, whereas revealed kindness is hinted in in uh, Eretz Canaan. Okay, now, beer. There's a short uh, beer on this mimer. Beautiful beer. So now, when Mashiach comes, we're saying that Malchus will rise beyond Zah, beyond the regular Midas, beyond the emotions. So with this, we'll understand what we say in the Sheva Brachas. We say that Meheir uh, HaShem that may be heard very soon in the Ara Yehud and the cities of Yehud of Chutzis Yerushalayim and the yards of Yerushalayim, we should hear the sound of the chasen and the kalon, it ends off that Baruch HaTah Hashem, Sameh Chasan in my kala, who makes the chasen rejoice with the kala. So in the earlier bracha, we say, Sameh Chasan the kala, that has, has, blesses Hashem, who makes rejoice the chasen and the kala. But here in this bracha, it says, Sameh Chasan in my kala. It says, makes the chasen rejoice together with the kala, making the color the uh, main thing, and the chasen is uh, sort of an extra, an add-on. So it depends when we're talking about, it's in the times of, uh, of uh, Galus, so and then it's just, uh, it's just uh, wit, uh, the, the, the chasen, and then you also have the color. Whereas in the times of Mashiach, then the, ma the quality of Malchus, of the recipient, will be revealed. And therefore, it will be the chasen with the kala. Now, we had originally with Matan Torah, the giving of the Torah, that was the erosin, the betrothal of the Jewish people, Tashem, and that's actually hinting the word Meirasha. Meirasha means an inheritance, but it also can be read as Meirasha, that, that we are betrothed to Hashem. Whereas when Mashiach comes, there's the Nisuin, the uh, actual, uh, ma our marriage to Hashem. And uh, al al although, 
So Math and Torah had a very high level of revelation. But although it was a, although there was this uh, revelation, it's only Aerosin. And then uh, when uh, it's only, and therefore it's only more superficial. And uh, then uh, when once Mashiach comes, then we have the Pnimi Sator, the inner dimension of Torah, which correspond, corresponds to a deep pleasure in Hashem. And that is only with Mashiach. And that's, that is the Nisuin. That's the actual marriage because the air is in the betrothal. There's a ring, but it's still only a superficial gift. Whereas the Nisuin, the actual marriage, that's, that, that's the deeper level of closeness. Okay, so now next paragraph and final paragraph in Iyadua. So now during the regular times of Galus, so then the Malchus receives from Zah. And therefore, Malchus is below Zah. The, fem the feminine, the recipient, uh, uh, looks up towards the, uh, the giver. But when Mashiach comes, uh, we've got the uh, idea of the crown beyond the regular levels, beyond the regular gifts. And then we'll say, Eshes Chal Teres Baila, that the woman of Bella is the crown above her husband. Uh, that uh, the Malchus will be beyond Zah. This is the idea that uh, we say that when Mashiach comes, a sidim tzaddikim shayem of them Kaddish, that in the future we will say Kaddish, holy, holy, holy to tzaddikim. And uh, uh, that's because uh, Malchus will be revealed in its true brightness, and therefore uh, these uh, tzaddikim will, will, will have this. Uh, I will have this idea that they're also Kaddish, also holy. And uh, so therefore, uh, when, right now, we before Mashiach comes, we say, Mesameach Hosan Vechala. Whereas once Mashiach comes, then we say, Mesameach Hosan Imakala, because the main thing becomes the recipient, and that's the, the main uh, power. And uh, that's why uh, nowadays, at the Erosin, the Kala says nothing. The Chasen says, Hare and Mekadesh, you are here by betrothed to, uh, to me, Kadash, much of Israel. Then he gives the Kala a ring, but the Kala doesn't respond at all. And similarly, we find in Shemayin Esrei that we daven quietly and uh, and just let it uh, and, and bow. This is all the concept of uh, Bittal. But uh, when, when Mashiach comes, then uh, the uh, then it will be in a state of mashpia of giving, and therefore at that time uh, Shmuel Esra will be allowed to be out loud, and it will have then the voice of the kala because the power of the recipient will be revealed.